Well, folks, this is it. Time for the grand finale. We've seen and done just about everything, and all that's left is to board the Gangplank Galleon and face off with King K. Rule and get our bananas back. Of all the places for a final battle, you'd think that a pirate ship would be the least likely place to find this guy. I mean, he does not, doesn't look like a pirate at all. He looks like he belongs in a castle. But anyway, as far as the battle goes, he's actually pretty easy. Although he does have a few tricks up his sleeve. With each time you hit him, he throws his crown a little bit faster, he runs back and forth more times, and he gets incredibly quick while doing so. Then he'll start pulling out this move. He'll jump super high in the air, and upon impact, rolls out the cannonballs. Although this isn't really that bad, there's more than enough space to get between each of them, so... Yeah, just watch out for that. If anything, what's gonna kill you is the boredom waiting in between cannonballs. Because now, he goes back and forth. One way, and back the other. If the cannonballs don't kill you, the boredom of waiting for them will. Aw, is that all you got? You are sick, man. You are absolutely sick. You're not gonna kill me with cannonballs, you're gonna kill me with boredom. Especially now, this might actually do me in. Because now, I gotta wait for three volleys of cannonballs, not just two. <sighs> what are there any games on? But now, it's time for you to go goodnight! And just like that, King K. Rool has been defeated. We now pan away, and get a good look at Donkey Kong Island, as we view the credits with a K. Huh, this is the developer's day off. Coding, claptrap, characters, crush, a color, and critter. What in the unnamed of holy ass is this? Did they really think Kremlings were going to make this game? Is this going to be like that scene in Last Action Hero, where the guy with the glass eye tells Arnold Schwarzenegger that in the real world, the bad guys can win? Apparently so, because that fucker's not done yet! And he's got more tricks up his sleeve, and he throws his crown incredibly fast. And be on your toes, because every time you hit him, he'll start jumping a bit more. But luckily for us, we only gotta hit him three more times. Is that all you got? Come on. You call yourself a king? You couldn't be king of a toilet. Now, where have I heard that before? Oh yeah, in another rare game. But now, that's it for sure this time. Good night! King K. Rule's been knocked out for good, we've got our big banana, and we are victorious. Well, I'm done, Donkey, my boy. Who'd have thought a young whippersnapper like you? could have beaten that bunch of no-gun Kremlins. You've made an old man proud. Well, you taught me well, Cranky. Go and look at your hoard. I think you'll be in for a surprise. Why, right, we'll come inside. What a player you are, Donkey, my lad. You've beaten the Kremlins. And found absolutely everything. You're nearly as good a player as I used to be. What can I say, Cranky? You taught me well. Oh my god. Look at it! It's beautiful! And now that we're coming to a close, it's time to meet the characters, starting with the bad guys. Naughty. Not a real threat there. Neki, which can be quite annoying at times. Ugh, Army. Real pain in the ass, especially with Diddy. And have I mentioned how much I hate singers? Slippa. No real threat there. Our mangy barrel throwing cousin, Mankey Kong. And Minineki, who loves those nuts in his mouth. <laughs> now for the underwater guys. The delicious looking bite size. The dreaded Croctopus. Chomps Jr. And Chomps. Oddly enough, Chomps Jr. looks more mean and menacing. The diabolical Clambo. And Squidge. And you really gotta love this part, the screwball antics a la the Three Stooges, with the enemies. Next up, the Kremlings. Our standard issue critters, in various colors. The heavy hitter, Clump. The Cartwright and Crash. Claptrap. Shut your trap, by the way. Rock Rock. Oh, these guys are so cool, I wish they were in more levels. And of course, the big bruiser, Crusha. Finally, the easy bosses. I can be very naughty with my eyes closed. Same with Master Neki. The Queen Bee, on the other hand, that was a good fight. Really naughty had a few good tricks up his sleeve. 
Dumb Drum? Well, name says it all. Master Nike Senior? Not that much more challenging. And despite all the trickery he had, King Rule was way too easy. And now it's time to meet our buddies. Starting with... Our Rhino Man, Rambi. The Speedster Expresso. The Swimmer On Guard, You Rule Dude. Ah, oh, but there's the big guy, Winky. I love him. And the criminally underrated Squawks. Our last round of players is the Kongs. Is it my turn yet? Wait your turn. First up is Funky Kong. And DK Sweetheart, Candy Kong. Surely it's me next. Well then get in line. Next is Quanky Kong. Our little buddy Diddy. And of course, the prime primate himself, Donkey Kong. That's right, dude. Give yourself a round of applause. You've earned it. A job well done. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. Donkey and Diddy engaged in some Three Stooges antics too. Makes the shark and the jellyfish thing seem kind of lame. But these guys are just knocking it out of the park. I swear, Larry Curly Mo can take lessons from these guys. Ooh, especially with that finger bite there. Classic screwball antics. I did this using one life. And I took less than an hour. Well, excuse me, Quanky Kong, but we can't all be video game gods like you. Sheesh. Well, folks, that's it. Donkey Kong Country is in the books. What can I say about this game? I love it to death. When I first played it in 1994, I had no idea it was going to have such an impact on me and my development as a video game player. No one had seen or heard anything like it at the time, and it's been well received and has aged so well in the 20 years of its existence. So, now that Donkey Kong Country is coming to a close, what's next on Channel 84 Winnipeg? Well, as a lot of you might know, I still have a second quest on The Legend of Zelda to take on and conquer. At the same time, Project 8 Ball is slated to start as well. What's Project 8 Ball? My first ever blind LP. And what's the game? Well, unfortunately, I'm going to have to keep that a secret. So, until next Let's Play, this is Jeremy Friday from Channel 84 Winnipeg, signing off. Thanks for watching this episode and all the other episodes in the project, and I will see you at the start of the next one. Goodbye for now, and stay cool.